coming. Welcome to the Melodyne demonstration. And I'll show you our new direct node access technology preview. It's not a um, program at the moment that you can buy. It's a technology preview. The first product will come out in autumn this year. But I'll show you what you can do with it. I think most of you will know Melodyne already. You, um, in the year 2001, we showed stuff like this. This is a single track singer. with material like this. You see the notes have been detected, you see uh, the pitch curve and you see the individual notes that the singer sang as these kinds of blobs that we have and that we can grab the notes like this and move it up. So you see the pitch curve in there and we can change everything. But this has just been limited to monophonic files. So like a saxophone, like a singer, like a flute player or anything that is monophonic material. But um, a few years ago we also started to work with polyphonic material in the sense that you have a full, say, like here we have a lute or a, it's called a viola material like this and we could change it in terms of tempo so that it would adapt to a certain performance that you change the tempo. Or what you also could do is take certain notes and move them up or down like this. So you can do that, but it's not really useful, I think, because in most cases you just want uh, to change things musically and adapt it in terms of changing individual notes. So if you go on in here and, for example, listen to this chord, This is a major chord, and if we could change the music, for example, to say we want a minor chord here, for musical reasons, this wasn't possible so far, of course, because we couldn't look inside this polyphonic recorded file. But that's what we can do now, if we say separate notes, it will detect what is in this file, and it will split up and show the individual notes that are in this music. So if we listen to this again, So you can do with the 
tell us what you want. And um, in most cases, I think that's not what you want, because um, in most cases you don't want to change a whole piece to a different scale or something. In most cases, I think it would be useful if you have a library on your hard drive and you have a lot of, um, say, of guitar files or so, guitar loops, um, let's say like this one, and you want it to adapt to the music that you have, not just um, in tempo and not just in the overall tuning, but in the single voicing of what the guitar player is playing. Let's listen to this one. I think this is out of an Apple Loops library.